Yeah, guys, the Iowa women's basketball team is off to quite the start this season. Yeah, the team is currently staying at 7-0. And after an undefeated weekend in Florida, the women's basketball team is preparing for Florida State to come into Carver-Hawkeye Arena this Wednesday night. I mean, we had a really great run at the tournament. Um, we're really ready to go. I mean, we just, you know, came back. We had an off day yesterday, and so we're really getting ready to go. Um, we just had our scout, so we don't know too much right now. You know, we're just kind of getting into it, and so we're really excited, though, to get going on Wednesday. We know that they're a great defensive team, so just, you know, being patient on offense, running our offense. We just got to make sure we're crashing and boxing out every single possession. Um, we do that every day in practice, so we're just making sure that we continue focusing on that and make it something that we do consistently. They are a great rebounding team, just like the rebounding teams that we faced in Florida. We knew that that's something that we had to focus on is boxing out, and that's, again, going to be one of our priorities this time. Our team is feeling really good about the way they're playing. And they're not just putting a whole lot of pressure on themselves. They're having fun. Um, they've got great chemistry. Um, even when things, you know, get a little tighter, they've been able to handle it and, and just they're enjoying the experience. Not really intimidated at all by it. We're just more excited than anything. We love when we have big games, big challenges, especially in Carver. We can play in front of our fans and it's a really exciting night. We're really pumped for it. Well, guys, if you are looking for a way to fill your Wednesday, be sure to come out to Carver Hawkeye Arena at 7 p.m. for the undefeated Hawks blackout game against the Seminoles. Well, the football team had a big weekend up in Lincoln as Iowa easily cruised past Nebraska 56-14. to And members of the team are receiving recognition for that performance and more. Senior running back at the player of the week following his three touchdowns and 150 yard performance against the Huskers. However, Wiley accolades don't stop there. Wiley, along with senior offensive lineman Sean Welsh, accepted their invitations to the Reese's Senior Bowl. That game will take place January 27th in Mobile, Alabama. And yesterday, the Touchdown Club of Columbus announced that senior linebacker Josie Jewell received the Jack Lambert Award for the best linebacker in all of college football. Jewell ranks third nationally and leads the Big Ten with 125 tackles. Jewell is also a finalist for the Bronco Nagurski Award and is a semifinalist for the Lot Impact Trophy. And I'll have to be honest with you, Delaney, in my opinion, Jewell got snubbed by the Buckus Award, which also goes to the best linebacker in the country. Yeah, Taylor, myself and the rest of the Hawkeye Nation are going to have to agree with you on that one. Well, on another note, it seems like all of us have a story about one of our sports teams or how we got into watching sports. Delaney, if you know me at all, you know that I'm obsessed with my Chicago teams, the Cubs, Bears, Bulls. I've loved them since I was a kid. And I'm a big Chicago sports fan as well, Taylor, but I'd have to say watching high school basketball with my dad coaching on the sidelines will always be my favorite sports tradition. Well, those may be some of our traditions, but DITV's Jacob Sinstad and J Justin Elsner went to campus and asked students about their favorite sporting traditions. For many sports fans all over the country, they have traditions of how they started watching sports, and they still follow those to this day. For Jacob and I, it's watching Sunday football with our fathers. Let's see what people in Iowa City do. Is there a team that you have stayed loyal to your whole life through thick and thin? The uh, Boston Red Sox. Now, Boston Red Sox are a pretty good team, but has it been tough in a couple years that you remember? Yeah, I remember uh, the year we won the World Series in 2013. It was the uh, year before we finished in last place. Do you have any sports traditions that you've uh, held your whole entire life? Uh, well, I grew up in Iowa City, so I went to, I've been going to football and basketball games since I was a kid, and I went to the first game in Carver, men's basketball game in Carver Hawkeye Arena, which was on my fifth birthday. Is there a sports team that you've been with your whole life, tried and true, never given up on? Uh, the Chicago Bears, unfortunately. What are some sports traditions you've held uh, throughout your life? I've always watched football every Sunday with my dad and my family. Every Thanksgiving we always watch football and that's a pretty big tradition. Well, Justin, it's nice to see Iowa City patrons like to hold traditions just like you and I do. Yep. From outside the library, I'm Justin Elsner. And I'm Jacob Senstead, Daily Iowan, TV Sports. Well, it's definitely fun to hear from people and hear their different traditions they each had. Yeah, and to that Bears fan, I feel for you, man. <laughs> That's it from us here in the sports studio, but be sure to tune back in tomorrow for updates from Iowa Wrestling Media Availability. And for a closer look at one Hawkeye tailgate making a difference for the patients in the Sed Family Children's Hospital. Guys, back to you at the desk.